Hey guys, this is Sunscar for Tech Boys, and today we're gonna have a quick tutorial on how to create a QR code that is a quick response code uh, on the PC or Mac or whatever it is. Uh, just I'm gonna use the internet for our help. So as we can see, QR codes have been publicized well and act as a good way of uh, transferring information like contact details, emails. I mean. Uh, letting anyone know your email address without actually telling them that just using a uh, image like this and you can tell about a website link and the calendar event and on and on and on so basically QR codes have helped us in a good way they act like barcodes just store information um, that we want them to so before you start uh, uh, we will have to use a resource on the website um, that is zsing.appspot.com slash generator uh, the zsing project, project it is um, you can find it on google codes that is code.google.com forward slash zsing if I'm not wrong so as you can see here's the screen uh, or the page where we're gonna actually have to generate our code so on the contents uh, menu you can see here there's a drop down menu we can, which points us to, uh, which asks us basically to select the format of the QR code we're gonna make. It's just email address, geolocation, and phone number, SMS, and text, URL, Wi Fi network, anything. For this sake, we're gonna have a contact information. Now, for the name, we're gonna, it's not anyone's real information, so basically, uh, I'm not gonna have uh, pay any concern to that phone number uh, so after that an email I can fill just anything one John P underscore two two one zero or anything like that at the rate abc.com I'm gonna do it like that so in the address I can just put uh, and one two three four new street new state um, in the address to line I can just put new country any website place I would just place anything you can expect dot <laughs> com and uh, I'm gonna leave the memo thing uh, yes, I'm gonna leave that a memo thing. Uh, and you can see that barcode size, large, small, medium. So I'm gonna select one and just gonna click on generate. I selected small in that case, and I'm gonna go and select large and click on generate again. Now here's the URL which you can choose to embed your code, and uh, just above that is the download button which you can choose and see that image and click on save image as there. I'm sorry that for that it went too fast, but uh, I'm really sorry I can't do anything about that. And just you can browse and save your image to any place you want, where you would be comfortable with. And um, so I have this image at my desktop basically for now. I can now put it on my locket or my T-shirt or my box, even for that sake, or my notebook, anything you want. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and 